Welcome along to our video walkthrough of this 2007 Willoughby Richmond. It's a 28 by 12 two bed. It's got double glazing, gas entry heating. It's priced at 11,550. Just going to give you a look around, point out a few bits and pieces, hopefully answer some questions you may have by when you're looking at the pictures. But if you've got any others, then please do reach out and let us know, and we'll obviously do what we can to help. So you join me here in this living room area, living dining area, where you can see we've got two fitted seating areas. One's the left-hand side here with a freestanding dining table and stool, uh, two stools actually, and then we've got one fitted on the right-hand side here. As you can see, the upholstery has been recovered in probably the last year or two, I would say, um, judging by the condition of it. Um, it's definitely in a good condition and much better than uh, sort of the age of the caravan might suggest. We've also got vinyl flooring. There's a couple of rust marks um, below the table, just on the floor, where they've uh, just had a bit of uh, probably a rusty um, stool or something like that sat on them. But we've got this grey vinyl serving our living room area, and then that follows through to the hallway sort of entrance area here. Um, there is vinyl through into the hallway, but as you can see, it does to go brown from there. So the new stuff here in the uh, living area is the grey. Got a coffee table there. And over in the corner here, we've got an electric fire, and then we've got some cupboard space, uh, TV space on the top there, and then cupboard space below. There's no curtains throughout the caravan, um, so there are pelmets around which would have been fitted, uh, which at the moment just have Velcro stuck to them, um, but there are no curtains fitted. That is something we could do potentially fit some cream or plain curtains in here if requested by the customer. Um, obviously, we can just wait and see who buys it and uh, make a decision then. Electric fire, as I say, not sure if it was originally electric. I think it probably was looking at the sockets. Looks like an original socket. Um, so it's always had an electric fire, I would say. So there's a space over on the right hand side there by the exterior door for an under counter fridge. There's just the one exterior door which comes in there, as I said, into that sort of entrance area. The kitchen itself, decent enough space. Obviously, it's all open plan. We've got those white cupboard doors um, and the sort of chrome colored handles. Got a gas oven and grill and hob as usual. And then we've got our kitchen sink and window. There are some uh, staining or bleached um, burn marks, I'd say, on the worktops, as you can see. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like where people have put hobs and things, unless it is something that's bleached it, I'm not too sure. Um, not going to get those out. I have seen people use some sticky wrap stuff that you can wrap a worktop and change a colour and everything, so you, someone might be able to do that. Quite a big job to uh, replace the worktops really taking the units out so not something that would probably be done uh, but just pointing those bits out we can always have a chat and see kind of what you might want to do coming to the hallway area then so we've got a door from our kitchen living room area here which separates off the bedrooms which is quite handy to have obviously with a shorter caravan uh, the noise and things would travel a bit easier so quite nice to have a door shutting off the two areas coming to the back of the caravan we find our main bedroom so this is at the rear off side rear left of the caravan we've got some storage over the top of the beds we've got a double bed there is a lift up bed frame on it but the arms have um, given up a little bit so um, it doesn't stay up but it does allow that storage underneath as you can see bedside units and then over in the corner we've then got our wardrobe it's quite a decent sized wardrobe we'll open up the doors it's not a sort of standard fitted wardrobe as you often find um, but quite a decent size there with the then the shower on the back of it because the bathroom's in behind so a good size hanging area there with a shelf above just a note again there's no curtains in the bedrooms but same goes for those if you want us to supply some i'm sure we can get hold of some uh, some curtains to hang coming out of there back into the hallway and then just turning to our right we find our twin room so fairly standard twin room with a couple of single beds same style storage cupboards to the side of the window there and then if i come in spin round we'll find our wardrobe unit obviously it doesn't go all the way down because the bed's there so it's just a half storage unit there, half hanging rail area there, as you can see. Just need to edge that, which we can do that, tidy that up a bit. Radiator in each room, of course, because it is gas centrally heated. Coming out of there and turning to our left again, we are back to the bathroom. So there is a door in from the hallway. There's also a door in from the main bedroom on the left-hand side here, just to highlight that, as you can see. And that is called a Jack and Jill bathroom. So it can act as an ensuite or indeed a bathroom. Radiator in here has seen better days, quite a bit of rust on there, so that's something we can re replace. 
that's all okay and standard, so no problem there. But toilet and sink and shower. So the shower door is a bit narrow than you you will find usually in the more modern caravans. As you can see, it slides back to the right hand side, but that is the extent of the the width of the opening. It's around about sort of shoulder width, depending on how broad you are. Um, but the shower itself isn't a bad size. It is quite deep there, as you can see. It's got the sort of seat in there. Um, so whilst the door itself is not the widest, the lip on the bottom isn't too bad, and it is quite deep in the shower there. So um, okay for most really so that's our bathroom coming out of there on our left hand side we do have our our gas boiler there as you can see our Morco boiler and then turning back to the living room area as you can see like I said about the flooring so you've got brown vinyl that comes through this hallway into the bathroom we've got carpets in the two bedrooms and then we've got that grey vinyl from here through. It is possible, of course, to have things changed. So if you wanted to, we could put a bit of carpet down in the hallway, uh, change the carpets in the bedrooms. Our grey vinyl wouldn't match this one completely. So whilst you could have it changed, it wouldn't match unless you did the whole caravan, which there would be a charge for. Um, but there's bits and pieces we can do. So as always, I just recommend coming along, having a look, and we can have a chat about what you want to do with it. I'm going to jump outside now, and I will show you the exterior. Just looking at the exterior of the Richmond then. As you can see... Not looking too bad. We've got the double glazed windows, a bit of rust on the bolts around the front barge board is fairly standard. We've got panel to clip back in on the bottom there on this non door side. Needs a little bit of a scrub off, but it's okay. Let me squeeze through here. I've got the camera on me as well. So, so not really any damage to worry about too much. There's a little bit of a scuff down on the panel there, but other than that, fairly clean. Looking at the back. So the same thing about the back in terms of damage, needs a wash, but it looks fairly decent in terms of damage. Got the block there, they would have had the regulator fitted to that in uh, previous times. Coming down the door side, a few holes down below here and a bit of paint that's needed just where it's been rubbing on the um, on the decking, I would say. We've got a new door handle to put on there and new hinge caps as well just to tidy things up. Just looking at the chassis, it is a um, standard chassis that's got a bit of surface rust. We'll do a chassis check of that. Damage there, actually. We'll do a chassis check of that and uh, give it a knock and just check everything's okay underneath there, as we do with everything. Check the legs and the wheels and all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you've got any concerns about anything at all or any questions, then please do reach out. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. And um, we give a three-month warranty from all of it with all our caravans. We do a gas, water, electric test. It's free delivery within 100 miles. And we can arrange sighting as well. If you've got any questions at all please do reach out come and have a look and come and say hi until then i uh, hope to check out another video and hope to see you soon cheers